monday.com workspaces hi guys in this video i'm going to be talking about monday.com's workspaces so let's get into it if you want to use monday.com then click the link down in the description below to get yourself a free trial now over here as you can see this is my dashboard and over here i have some workspaces so let's go ahead and jump into it so let's go ahead and get into this workspace so basically in the past what would happen was you would create a workspace and within the workspace you would create a bunch of different boards a bunch of different folders and it would be basically a mess right like your workspace would be stuffed with every single thing that you would need now what you can do is you can create individual workplaces or workspaces for each department of your company or your brand so basically as you can see i've divided up a couple of my workspaces so that you can have a better idea of what i'm talking about so we have the startup the content creation the development and the hr you can create different workspaces for different divisions of your company and how do you create a workspace well it's very simple you just simply click over here and over here you will have the add workspace option and over here you will have browse all the workstations right so if you click on add workstation it'll basically ask you what type of workstation you're creating is it a private or an open right if you keep it open what you can do is every team member can join this workstation all of its folders and stuff like that but if you want to create a closed one it will be only available for people you invite or you want to have within that workspace now this is available only for the enterprise users only so if you want to create a private workspace then for that you're going to need an enterprise plan so for now we'll just keep it open and for this one we'll just call it a marketing so we're just going to create a workspace and now we have ourselves a workspace now what we can do is we can go ahead and edit the workspace or we can add members and add some permissions so basically to add members just simply click on the members over here and then over here you can invite different members within your team you can type individual names or you can invite individual people that you want within your team we'll get this one we'll add other ones or we can add every single person that we want right everyone i'll just simply click on everyone at john and every single person has been added within the list and we are now good to go so all these people have been are joined within this workspace now what we can do is we can go ahead and add some different templates within the board to make it look better so we click on add from templates it's going to open up the template folder and over here we can add different templates within this workstation so since this is a marketing workstation we're going to select the marketing category and over here we're going to choose some templates that work best for us so let's just add a simple marketing strategy and click on use this template adding different templates can help us to you know save time and then we can go ahead and edit these templates out as our needs so over here as you can see this is how it looks like you can go ahead and add different templates within this marketing stage or marketing workspace so as you can see each workspace has been divided so that individual people that are related to that workspace could go ahead and use them they don't have to go ahead and scroll through a bunch of different folders and a bunch of different projects that they don't have nothing to do with so this is actually a pretty good idea and also you can go ahead and edit your workspaces as well so as you can see over here we can go ahead and click on the logo and we can change the logo of this workspace we can change the color of it however we want we can even change and add a cover to our workspace we can go with a solid color or a gradient color it all depends on us or we can go with a different image that they provide over here and they all look pretty amazing so let's go with this one so as you can see this is how it looks like this is how you add different workspaces and if you wanted to delete a workspace just simply click on the three dots near the workspace and over here you will have the option to delete that workspace you can even manage it change the icon collapse folders and archive it as well it's pretty simple so that is it for workspaces click the link down in the description below you will be able to sign up onto monday.com without having to enter any credit card information or any fee whatsoever and it's really simple and if you were wondering how you can use monday.com then check out some of our other videos that we've done on monday.com on other parts of this awesome website and also if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications that is it for this video guys i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye